What's up guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Dark Tibet YouTube channel. I hope this background noise isn't too loud. Let's roll that intro and find out. Guys, I've been waiting to do this for a very long time and I think I finally got it set up so here we are I'll show you this is what our live streams are gonna look at look like and so I've just got this ticker down here with a little bit of text in it which we have right over here it says God bless welcome to the Artivet family faith family fun at Artivet thank you for tuning in please consider subscribing and then up top here in red I have the AV Arctic Vet Fam YouTubers Rotter Files Daily Electrician PA Car Obsession and last but not least Chris Coach Chasing so I've got their guys' names up top there I made the need to make that a little darker and then my GoPro will show right there and you'll get to see my lovely face while I'm sitting here streaming and currently I'm playing RuneScape which happens to be like my most favorite game in the world um yep I, I know if you guys know the game drop a comment down below let me know anyhow I wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit about this because I've been trying to do this for so long and I just haven't been able to because the only audio I had was by using my headset. As much as it works, and it works well, even though they are duct taped and hot glued together, they do work and it works great. However, I needed some audio. Today, that is what I did. I hooked up some surround sound back there. And then so under my desk, it's a disaster, I know, but I got more speakers down there. The subwoofers down there, it's amazing. And we got the road mic set up here to where it can plug in to the computer. Now, I would like to eventually, not right, not right now, not right now, it doesn't need to happen right now, but eventually I would love to, to get another mic and one of the booms so you can bring it up and stick it over like so it'd be hanging up above me instead of this <clears throat> excuse me and when we do that the next thing is going to be obviously to get a real webcam and put up a real webcam because well the gopro works well it does it's very expensive webcam <laughs> There's a lot cheaper options out there, and I think it'd be amazing to do just that. So, I love my whole setup here. I can turn everything up and down just right there on the keyboard. It's, just, it's amazing. I was so excited to get back into gaming on the PC. I've been playing on the Xbox, on the TV, Fortnite, and I was streaming that onto Twitch for a while. But now, we're strictly all on YouTube. Uh, as for the Twitch channel, well, there's some good stuff over there. Some like little highlights that I made and whatnot. Pretty cool. But anyhow, I'm super excited to do this. And so I think that I may do this actually here later tonight. Maybe, maybe even before this video goes live. So I don't know. We'll just see. Thank you guys for checking out the video and tuning in. And when the live streams come up, I hope that you guys have clicked that red subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when we are live and you get notified of every upload and every time we go live. That way, you're always in the know. You always are up to date on everything. Speaking of which, <laughs> as you know, we have been working out at um, a house, a friend's family member's house. Um, well, what's left of it, which is, is the foundation. And... Uh, We've been cleaning up, working out there, and lucky old me, I went and I got a nail right through my heel. And we're not talking just a bitty nail, we're talking a big old nail. Like, this thing was like that big. And it went through, oh I don't have them in here. I'm not gonna hobble into the kitchen and get them. But I was wearing, I was wearing my boots, not these ones. 
and as you can see there the the heel is really thick and i mean my boot it's even thicker my cowboy boots it's even thicker or it's like it's like that thick it's like that thick it's thick as my head <laughs> and the nail went straight into it and i like i felt it poke me at first and i was like man oh you know i just because I'm, I'm kicking a brick and i'm like oh that was just the corner of the brick you know like it's no big thing and then I kicked harder the second time and I sent that puppy right into my heel. And I was like, whoo, <laughs> just stood there and said, all right, don't look at me. <laughs> I didn't scream, I didn't cuss, I didn't nothing. I just, don't look at me. I looked down at my foot. I see this nail sticking out of the side of the boot and I'm like, yep, <laughs> that's in my foot right now. <laughs> and so what do, what do I do? I pull my foot up, I pull my boot off, which pulls the nail out, and then I'm like, whew, I put my foot back down, and I, well, I felt it, I felt the breeze, it was cold, <laughs> I, I lifted my foot up again and I looked, and it's just a nice big old circle of blood right down there on my heel, and then my boot, as far as my boot goes, there's a nice hole through the, through it, but the nail was stuck, I couldn't pull it out. I had to get a crowbar and pry it out. Like, it was insane. It was insane. It was a good time. It's just a good reminder. Go ahead, keep updated on your tetanus shot. Make sure you've got it every 10 years. Um, because, well, the worst case scenario, which isn't really even that bad if you believe in Jesus, is that you will go to heaven if you believe in Jesus. So, otherwise, you're going to just die. You're just going to die, so... <laughs> I looked it up. I was like, what's the worst case scenario if I don't go get a shot? Because let's be real. I don't know the last time that I had one. And so I went ahead and I went and got one done. And now I know that for the next 10 years, I'm going to be good on my tetanus shot. I'll be updated and I won't have to worry about just dying <laughs> from a rusty nail. <laughs> Which, granted, that nail was clean, but still... So we, we dug in there, we got some stuff out of there, we got some dirt and all that out, and, and now I'm just, I'm doing the same thing. Today's day two of it, technically. Super bruised, it's kind of hard to walk, but it's okay. I got a little gauze pad just to try and keep any blood there instead of all over the ground of where I'm walking and whatnot. Not trying to do that, try to keep it clean. Pouring peroxide, alcohol, you know, the whole nine yards just getting it getting take care of so luckily not having health insurance is still a good thing because pharmacies at least our pharmacy has tetanus shots and you can get one there there's pretty pricey it was 85 dollars but that 85 dollars saved me a trip to a clinic where it could have cost me three four hundred dollars easy so i'll take that any day <laughs> take that any day if you guys enjoyed this video though, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We are almost at 1100 subscribers. I'm really trying to hit 10,000 this year, guys. I know with your guys' help, we're gonna get there in no time at all. So tell a friend, tell a family member, tell your boyfriend, your girlfriend, tell your child, tell your sons, your daughters, tell your dogs, even your cats. <laughs> and we will catch you guys tomorrow in another daily Arctic Vet vlog here on the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. That's me right there. Yee. God bless.